Welcome back here nerds. Today I'm going to do another quick H90 tutorial and it's going to be all about how to set tempo and time on your H90 device. This, to be honest with you, this is the trickiest topic I've covered so far and uh, because there are so many different ways to think about it and do it but I'm going to try to explain how to set tempo and I'm going to use the example of a delay. Now you can see at the moment on my program, I've only, I've got absolutely nothing. So init program through and through, I cover that, how to create a new uh, program. So I'm going to uh, select a vintage delay. So here we have, you can hear it. Okay, our vintage delay. And as you know from my other videos, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn the wet mix up so you can hear it more clearly. I'm going to put the stereo image uh, equally on both sides. And actually, as you can see, uh, because I've been playing around with this, this is already set at an eighth. So without confusing you too much, I'm gonna set it back to milli milliseconds. So here it is on uh, 500 milliseconds. Okay, so tip number one is if we hit both of these two buttons at the same time, we're going to toggle our preset to switch between milliseconds, which is the actual time, and tempo. This one says dotted quarter. And then once you once you uh, change it, you can change it to quarter notes. There's quarter notes. There's dotted eighths. Okay, so presumably if you're watching this, you, I'm not going to explain to you the difference between a dotted eighth and a quarter note. Now, let's just go out of this parameters view. We can we don't do it in that setting. We have to be in the parameters setting and then we can do it. You can see it's changing every time I tap these two at the same time. When we come out of the parameters view, nothing. Okay, now I don't think that is all that helpful uh, because, for example, once we are on uh, on this, then where the hell is the tempo coming from? And uh, I'm not going to go into all the stuff about is it a global tempo or is it a program related tempo? Might do that in another video, but just where the hell is it coming from? And of course, it needs to come from tap tempo. It could also come from MIDI clock, but let's start with the basics of tap tempo. Where the hell is tap tempo? Really annoying, right? So um, let's go back to this mode. Tap tempo doesn't exist in select mode. We have to be in perform mode. Let's go to perform mode. Now perform mode is completely different. And um, I can't even begin to describe what perform mode does, but of course it's designed to be if you're on stage and you're performing. You can decide what these switches do in perform mode. And what we're going to decide is that this button, I'm just choosing it randomly, you could, you could have any of the other two, is going to do tap tempo. And what I do is I tap on this little LED to change what the tap, what that button does. Bingo. This now does tap tempo. So we have our tempo. You see it slowed down and it's sped up.
Now, uh, we've really covered the basics there. So that is your tap tempo. If you go back uh, to the parameters of the vintage delay, if I change it back, uh, and I'll put it on 500 milliseconds just for the sake of knowing where it is. You can see that tapping the tempo does not affect the delay times. Doesn't affect it. And uh, so that might mean if you've got two different presets, uh, there is a different way of doing this, but you can control whether or not the algorithm or the preset that you're using is going to follow tap tempo, even though some other part of the H90 could follow tap tempo at the same time. OK, so I'm guessing that most of you, well, I'm perhaps not, perhaps a lot of you are performing, so that solved your problem. But if you're playing at home, there's another way of dealing with tempo. And uh, that is to have it on the front of these quick knobs. I get confused. This, the, this is a hot knob. This is a quick knob. Uh, so you can change what these quick knobs do. You've probably noticed that the default on every program is in gain, out gain, and something like that. And uh, to me, this is not really a helpful default. So what we can do, if we hold down this quick knob, we can then scroll through all of the things which can be adjusted on this quick knob. Now, and if you keep turning it, by the way, I think I said before, some, some, some of these menus go round in a loop, so it's confusing. This goes round in a loop. Just keeps going round and round and round. Now, the little P up here means these are the things related to the program. We already covered that in another video. These are the things related to preset A or slot A, if you like to think of it like that. And these are the things related to slot B. At the moment, I've got nothing in slot B, so there's not very much here. So I've made that delay A. And this one, I'm going to make delay B. Now, if we come out of that screen, look at that. I've got slightly confused. So this one is delay A. <laughs> Why isn't this one delay B? Oh, dear. That's better. So now I've got two knobs. One is delay A, one is delay B, and they're on the front of my program. So now I can go ahead and modify them while I'm playing. Now, as you may have noticed, I need to do another video about quick knobs, but if you click them, there are two alternative click knobs and I managed to set them in the wrong one, but anyway. Now remember, if I go back to parameters on this and I change it from time to triplets, when I go back and I turn delay A, look, I get the quarter notes and stuff. But I haven't got tap tempo until I go over to perform mode. And now I can change that. Goodness knows why you want to do that. Silly old me. I just like to. Uh, I like to have it on quarter and uh, dotted eighth, dotted quarter, no thanks, dotted eighth. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, there you have it. If you got anything out of this video, please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more stupid nerdy content like this. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.